Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Beauty Beats only on IIUM FM, your campus radio. Baiklah. Jadi pada minggu lepas kita tidak bersiaran on air. I know you guys miss me. I know I miss y'all too. Well, not really. But kita ada meet banyak untuk catch up, right? So, untuk topik kita pada minggu ini adalah topik yang saya kira sangat menarik. Okay, it's like very interesting. Sebab kalau... So korang semua tahulah dengan flash mob yang berlaku di sepanjang minggu ini Pada Ahad ini, Ahad sehingga selasa ini akan ada satu pementasan teater yang saya rasa uh, Macam bertema ke ala-ala fantasi gitu Jadi pada hari ini, tetamu-tetamu kita adalah performers okay? Performing arts, like you know, the performance of that theater Presenting to you guys, the production team of Enam by Notorious Playhouse Welcome everyone Hello. 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 Okay, Yo. so uh, sem- uh, semestinya tak kenal maka tak cinta, betul tak? Jadi saya minta anda sebut untuk perkenalkan seorang demi seorang uh, nama dan apa peranan anda dalam pementasan teater ni. Hmm, bolehlah start dengan sesiapa. Ah, uh, okay. Mula <laughs> dengan saya lah nampaknya. Okay. Uh, hi, uh, saya Saima. I'm one of the crew for this theater. I'm part of the props team. Oh, okay, props. Yes. Cool. Next. Uh, hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Aira Aymin. Um, I'm the part of directorship and also one of performer for OST. Yes. Mm. Hello, I'm Sabrina and I am one of the actors. And yeah, that's basically what I do. Okay, me, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ahmad Mustaki bin Mustafa. And I'm the actor. Okay. 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 Um, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay. Okay. Salam dah. Okay. My name is Muhammad Hazman. So saya sebagai dancer, pahlawan dan juga wardrobe crew untuk uh, Theater Enam ni. So tiga peranan. Multi purpose. Triple threat. Yes. Alright. Assalamualaikum. Hai hai hai. Nama saya Norhida Nawahida. Wow. She thought about this. <laughs> And I'm also a part of dancers. Yes. Okay. Jadi pada uh, hari ini yang bersiaran dengan kita adalah kru, cast dan juga dancer. Dan pada hari ini topiknya um, saya kira sedikit menarik sebab kita akan berbincangkan tentang beauty, health and lifestyle and performing arts in general. Jadi sekiranya anda ingin ketahui lebih lanjut apa yang akan kita bincangkan pada hari ini, stay tune only with DJ Madu, only on IIUM FM, your campus radio. Hi there everyone, welcome back on Beauty Beats only on IIUM FM, your campus radio. Baiklah. Tadi kita telah berkenalan dengan para apa tu, pelakon, kru dan juga penari untuk pementasan Tita Enam yang akan dipentaskan oleh Notorious Playhouse yes. Production. Jadi untuk kita memulakan uh, perbicaraan pula, ya Allah. Perbicaraan. <laughs> untuk kita memulakan uh, topik atau perbincangan kita pada hari ini, saya ingin tanyakan kepada anda semualah. Before we begin, right, would you like to share us a bit about this theater? Hmm. Okay, so, um, well, this production, Notorious Playhouse production, we decided to experiment um, a supernatural and mystical themed theatre. And so, that's where yes. Enam comes in. Okay, sebab apa dia bagi nama Enam eh? Hmm, sebab sebab kita orang ada Enam orang pahlawan. Oh, bukan yes. tujuh. Yang bukan, bukan tujuh. tujuh. Bukan Kalau tujuh. Kalau bukan sembilan. <laughs> okay, setiap Enam pahlawan ni, dia, mereka ada super power, boleh control elements of earth, Uh, apa? Telepathy. Air, telepathy hmm. uh, okay. Boleh control emotion Boleh control the time oh. Macam Thanos punya apa? Hmm. Stone yeah. time oh. <laughs> Stone tu <Wow>. lah <laughs> Boleh uh, apa? rawat orang So that is six of us Di mana kaum apa? Kampung kami telah diserang Dan seluruh uh, Kampung kami Tinggallah kami enam orang sahaja And yes. then Where this This theater is about Seeking for revenge Revenge. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Ah, yes. Ada apa-apa lagi yang nak share probably? Ah, from dancers ke, crew ke? Mm, I mean, aside from revenge, there's also a bit about friendship, of course. Yes. Because okay. we, ha- we have to have a villain, about every story, sorry, has to have a villain, kan? So, be- why are they seeking revenge? Because they actually found out this evil 
person, person, this evil lord called Lars, actually killed all of their friends. Uh, that's why there's only six of them left. So on this journey, this whole play is about their journey trying to find, going through friendship, love, and of course, revenge. So you have to, you know, you, and you have a bit of everything, why not? Mm, also gay. family. Mm. Ah yes, also, also family. a bit of family. Yeah, family too penting. Kalau love semata-mata tak boleh lah dipentaskan kat UIA eh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Baiklah. Jadi, um, second question. Yang ni, I would like to direct to the dancers first. What makes you interested in performing, particularly in this pemutusan like, enam? Hmm. Well, for me, first of all, um, I memang minat dance lah kan. Um, but before this, I tak pernah jumpa lagi a type of theatre yang introduce us to dancing because we always know that uh, before this, kalau uh, dancing je, kalau dari UIA mesti dancing uh, traditional semua tu. And I'm looking for something new, something fresh. So, uh, jumpa dengan, tu jumpa lah dengan my friends from a dumb production and then they said, oh, kita orang punya dancing is not calang-calang punya dance. Mm. So, I enjoy and it surprised me. So, nak tahu jenis dana apa, datanglah. Ha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tickets still on sale. Okay, um, kalau saya pula, sebenarnya, sebenarnya lah, saya kena paksa. <laughs> <laughs> Dengan kakak saya sendiri. Sebab saya oh, dia dalam, dia dah ada khas dalam cerita ni. Mm. But, saya memang suka dance lah nak cakap kan. Mm, nice. Mm-hmm. Dari, sebab dulu, time sekolah memang selalu lah perform untuk sembahan ke apa, dance Tapi itulah Lama-lama bila daripada kena paksa tu Jadi minat Jadi lah oh, But one thing, you will terkejut tengok Hazman on stage Sebab Actually. dia macam ni je Tapi on stage dia lain macam Ya, yeah. yeah, hmm. maksudnya macam dia tengah cuba kawan macho lah Ya yeah. <laughs> Not really <laughs> like, Not really. <laughs> Jadi guys, kalau korang perasan Kita ada seorang dancer wanita Jadi it's like very rare and challenging And quite controversial If we have a female dancer performing on stage Jadi untuk kita hmm. uh, kita save dulu energy kejap Perbincangan ni Kita give them a minute For them to take a drink or something And we'll be right back Only on IIM FM Your campus radio Dengar tu guys Jangan makan berlebihan Okay Nafsu tu amalan syaitan ha, Betul lah tu Alright so Moving on to the next talking point Jadi Kita luangkan masa sikit lah Kita berkenal-kenalan Dengan mereka semua Now Each and every one of you Mestilah macam pernah ada pengalaman Performing on stage Particularly in theatre So uh, Biasa melalui aktiviti, aktiviti-aktiviti ni Akan memenatkan anda Secara fizikal dan secara mental So how do you keep yourselves fit Mentally and physically before and during the stage day. Hmm. Hmm. You can. Uh, <laughs> you start first. Uh, first of all, awal-awal tu memang penat. Like first of the training. Tapi uh, every petang, usually saya lah. Saya akan macam uh, kalau tak pergi swimming. Or saya akan pergi workout dekat gym UIA. Uh, gym UIA ya. Yeah. Gym UIA. <laughs> <laughs> masih masih dibuka. Okey, so awal-awal dulu memang memang penat. So tu apa? Kalau orang kata kalau apa? Alah bisa tegar biasa kan. Selalu yes. buat. So now sekarang ni alhamdulillah walaupun banyak sangat fighting scene like each cast lebih kurang ada 5 babak lawan lah. So ya yeah, around 5 babak lawan. So to keep ourselves fit, selalu petang-petang kita orang akan swimming uh, between cast pun ada sama-sama pergi jogging ke. Uh, so ya yeah, to me tu saja. Bina. Um, well, I'm actually a very lazy person. <laughs> nice. I can relate. I, can relate. <laughs> I think all girls can relate. All Almost girls. all girls. Um, <laughs> but honestly, memang lah, memang memang lazy gila. So much. Um, even when I go for training and because I have a fighting scene as well, when I fight, sike pun memang dah tercucu ngak lah. But I think one thing that would keep me sane, I would say, is just to have enough rest. That's basically it. Yes. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm so lazy sampai tak work out ke apa tak lah. I mean, I do walk around, I do jog and stuff. But, macam kalau cakap pun macam tak cukup yang benda tu. Tapi, uh, yeah, just have enough rest lah. I mean, good sleep and, you know, makan ikut masa. All those things lah. Macam biasa lah. That's, that's what I do because I'm a very lazy person. Mm, yeah. yeah, always the laziest person gets good sleep. Oh, hmm. Debatable. 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 <laughs> okay, what about you? How do you keep yourself fit? Um, for me, I think this is like the 
It's just answer What? Eat <laughs> Actually it's true You need to eat Actually like um, Kita memang kena jaga pemakanan Whatever it is I know it's quite impossible Like to have breakfast It's not quite impossible Like It's impossible it's for a, you It's, it's lazy For, for lazy people. person people. Kita, kita ni memang uh, Makan Kita pun Breakfast we skip Campurkan je <laughs> Breakfast dengan lunch So it's <laughs> Janji kita makan lah So to me it's, Bila sebab Tater ni usually Dia punya norms Adalah kita akan balik mm. Tiga buat pagi Dan yes. tiga buat pagi tu Kadang-kadang kita ada Nafsu untuk makan lagi So bila pergi makan Kita kena pandai-pandai Backup untuk workout sendiri yes. For example uh, This is my routine Taklah rutin sangat Seminggu sekali Seminggu dua kali Sebelum tidur Workout sendiri Sebelum tidur So macam contoh dia Sit up ke Push up ke Sebelum tidur So oh. tidur tu dalam keadaan yang lebih Body lebih recharge lah Push up uh, Push up Okay Gigi What about you? <laughs> I saw mentally and physically. Well, maybe not physic. Well, physically for me, I my solution is more like be now, when you make sure I get enough sleep because I'm like yes among uh, the directorship. They actually know that I love sleep more than anything. I actually <laughs> I basically ditch them their dates or anything for sleep. So that's why now I shall, we know. Yes. Ah, <laughs> what is it like? Like actually, it's actually a really good thing because you know that like, uh, theater. Like a lot of people just think that oh, it's just performing on stage. You're just acting. You're just dancing on stage. Yeah. But it's actually physically and mentally very draining. So for me, as a lazy person, I try to sleep as much as I can, as possible, as much as possible. And of course, for mental fitness, what I do is I actually try to. You know, like uh, separate whatever I do when I'm in training, and also whatever you know the stress that you get from classes, all the daily hassles. So you actually try to keep them separate. You don't, you never mix them together, because when you mix them, that's when you, you know, you get tired, stressful, and, and stress, mm-hmm. and yes. Okay, you for dancers, for current dance, can so <laughs> banyak <laughs> punya badan keras. How do you keep fit? Well, for me, uh, personally. I am not a kind of person yang selalu jogging and stuff. Yeah, and we then, can really. And, but then, uh, <laughs> since dancing dancing is my passion, so um, normally kita orang masa awal-awal tu nak keep up with the steps, nak ingat steps semua tu kan. I masa awal-awal masuk as dancers, um, bila balik from performing tu, uh, bila balik from training tu, I didn't stop there. Kat mm. bilik tu, I terus keep up with the steps mm. sampai mm. I dapat, sampai mm. ni lah. Commitment. Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> So, um, macam tu lah kot, I keep myself fit because for me, dancing itself dah macam jogging, it's equivalent. Uh, and then I tidak, um, I am a person that uh, keep the smallest things. Contoh, uh, if I go into class, kalau class at level 4, I selalu mm. keep myself tak naik lift lah. I naik tangga. Wow. And then kalau wow. macam kita, I duduk nusa iba. Since I duduk nusa iba, kalau ikut tangga belakang, you know, the tangga batu kita. Oh, oh, kita oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I selalu <laughs> cuba <laughs> untuk <laughs> naik tu, I tak stop. Uh, uh, jangan berhenti naik uh, Kalau bengah sangat tu I stop lah kejap But not more than one minute lah I akan terus naik uh, That's how ni lah But and then uh, You must It is important to listen to your body Kalau you rasa nak sleep tu You sleep je terus uh, betul, Jangan betul. skipping sleep Even dalam kelas Even dalam kelas Okay Okay uh, Kalau saya pula Since uh, Saya Kaet student So oh. you guys know How tired Kaet student will be Because busy Dengan assignment and things So Sama macam yang lain Bukan jenis orang yang Jogging or what uh, So How I keep Mentally and physically fit So Kalau dari segi mentally Dari segi uh, Dia punya training tu sendiri Bila Maksudnya kita kena cukup training lah Bila kita rasa kita dah training, training, training Then dia akan effect mentally kita So we are ready for this show yeah. And dari segi training tu juga uh, Kita exercise So itu untuk dari segi physically pula lah. nice. So yes Just enough training mm-hmm. wow. So macam antara the things that I can highlight is makan Tidur dan makan-makan. Basics of life. Makan, tidur, makan, tidur. So, yeah, those are the tips. Uh, so, boleh lah ikutlah. Eh? Alright, so second. Have you ever had days, okay, ni untuk cast lah. Have you ever had
Right now memang ada break out lah Like this few Like past one, past week uh, mm. Macam minggu-minggu terdekat ni ada Memang muka memang start naik jerawat Saya sedang melihat beliau di depan mata Saya tak tahu di celah mana break out kan? Ya, ya tak Sini, sini Dia tutup mikrofon So, saya just still maintain my moisturizer and sebab saya bukannya jenis yang terlalu menjaga so just moisturize and balik cuci muka itu sahaja Alhamdulillah cuma langan lah hmm. Basic, yang lain? Basic, yang lain? Macam mana hmm. tu? Uh, limin? Limin? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Sebab kulit anda licik I have uh. a lot of tips <laughs> Actually yes yeah. okay, Salah satu lah Salah satu Salah lah. satu I think like uh, satu cleanser uh, yang memang cleanser betul yang macam ni orang kata itu memang benda wajib and everyone punya skin type is different so you need to know your skin punya type mm-hmm. ada berminyak ada yang bercampur ada yang very oily so first kena tahu jenis kulit then mm-hmm. second I think this is like boleh pakai untuk semua orang sekarang di zaman yang panas-panas ini akhir zaman ini uh, <laughs> <laughs> prepare aloe vera yang gel lo yang uh, 99% ke 100% ke prepare tu sebab benda tu to me like kita punya lapisan kulit uh, epidermis epidermis segala benda tu kita kena jaga so dalam cuaca itu kita punya kelembapan kulit akan banyak berkurang dalam cuaca yang pada sebegini so kita akan guna aloe vera tu untuk like heal menyejukkan balik kita punya kulit yang panas akibat wow. matahari tu i think that's yes. a very good sebab kalau kelak contoh dia kalau kelas kau orang habis kau satu tu balik bilik uh, Apply sekejap dalam half an hour or one hour Then basuh, solat, segala benda Then insya Allah kulit kena jadi elok lah hmm. Masya Allah, guru. <laughs> guru Sebab dia secara tidak langsung telah menjawab soalan ketiga Oh Masya Allah Saya oh. nak tanya tu lah Do you guys have any particular routine like skincare routine, diet etc Tapi tak apa kita boleh gabungkan soalan tu together So for girls, apa skincare routine anda Untuk you know, balance everything out Chairs and all that uh, Well, I mean, as for me, even though I'm not really usually part of the cast i try to stay backstage or you know just washing them at a pato watch them on the day itself what i do is that i actually try to supply facial masks for the cast mm-hmm. yes uh, especially when it gets closer to the day- show days Yay! yes i will give it to them no worry free yes. of charge free of charge don't worry because uh, i've heard this tip before when i went wow. to see a beautician that she actually gave me this tip that you know in In the, uh, as you get closer to an event, you know, an important event, a date or graduation or something, 10 days before that, you wear uh, this facial mask every night. Mm-hmm. Yes, it just keeps you, it's like, you know, a prolonged moisturizer on your face, but it does miracles, especially when you put on makeup. It, it just, how to say, it, han- it enhances your skin, basically. So, yes, that's just part of the tips I have. Wow, yes. amazing. What about you? Um, I don't really have the specific routine, but um, and I'm not a person yang sangat jaga muka lah. I'm just a normal she kind of girl. Nice. Yeah, she but is unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> but then, uh, yang nice. paling penting, uh, the basic first of three tu lah, the cleanser and the toner and moisturizer. I tak tinggal langsung ada thing. Uh, and malam malam, I will wear. I won't bagi tahu lah dia nanti jadi commercial pula kan tapi uh, <laughs> I tak tak malai pakai goals. essence lah I pakai essence before tidur every night. Mm. Uh, okay, what so about will help you? Me. Your... I'm glad I'm the last to be asked because I literally have no answer for this. <laughs> <laughs> But um okay, kalau bukan skincare lah probably like um, diet or diet or any routine to keep yourself you know Okay, it's like daripada makan dan tidur, eh? Like <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say now that you said routine and stuff I don't think I have one. Wow. That's basically it. She has healthy skin, people. <laughs> oh, really? Well, thank you. Yeah. You're probably the first to say that. But anyway. But your skin looks <laughs> nice. <laughs> But um, yeah, like, if macam ada breakout ke apa, I literally redor je. <laughs> And I try to not apply anything on my skin. As in, besides ah. facial cleanser or whatever. Because when yeah. I go for classes, and you know, I have... Because I'm a law student, so I have mood and I have um, court stuff. Yes. So I need to look presentable. So on those days where I have breakouts, whatever, I refrain myself from putting on any sort of makeup or whatever. And it's just basically facial cleanser and then, yeah. So by the end of the day, you'll see my face as a zombie. 
because literally mm, dengan no. muka yang tak ada makeup tu tapi ya yeah, that's basically what i do i don't apply any other things on my skin nampak lah sometimes your face macam barai you know? but <laughs> you know guys the first impression i had of her was that oh my god she's so cute what and garang aku tak boleh nak tak cute what wow okay now we're not gonna step there okay jadi here's an, a statement performing arts is a challenging experience physically and mentally that it can cause stress So what are your opinions on this? Kita mulakan from your side. Oh, now the first. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I am not ready. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'll start with mentally first, yeah? Um, it can be a challenge for those, I mean, this is probably like general, but for those who have stage fright and any mm. confidence issues or insecurities, it is something very tough and it is something very difficult to overcome. And so, memang respect those yang memang macam, even in enam, I know there are many friends of ours yang masuk stage, uh, masuk uh, enam ni pun, they deal with all these things, but they they have the courage to overcome it, and so, that's one that's one good thing lah. Um, physically, semua macam, I think I'm just going to summarize it all. Um, stage fright, and uh, basically commitment pun. That's mm-hmm. one big thing that I think everyone has to deal with, because when you... Um, and engage into these sort of performances or these shows or societies what not mm-hmm. the commitment level must be high and yeah. I'm actually proud to say that all of us I think the level of our commitment are way up there way so up that's there. one good thing way up there way up yeah. there way up there up where I don't know but it's way up there <laughs> okay, okay so sekarang I nak dengar jawapan daripada seorang kaet student you of course you have to stick yeah. to the studio almost all the time so yes. what is your opinion on that okay um, macam saya cakap tadi kaet memang yelah kalau siapa yang ada member kaet pun akan tahu memang assignment dia terlalu banyak dia tak banyak sebenarnya dia cuma Benda tu kena berterusan and tiap malam kena stay dekat studio sampai 3-4 pagi apa semua. Mm. So, sebenarnya untuk kat student macam saya dan masuk teater ia sangat-sangatlah mencabar dan juga mengambil risiko. So, uh, satu benda masa lah. Kena pandai bahagi masa. Yes. Uh, so, kalau... Kita balik kepada tajuk ni It can cause stress So apa opinion saya Saya rasa kalau apa yang kita buat tu Something yang kita suka And kita happy So something ben, uh, Sometimes benda tu Yang akan hilangkan stress Assignment-assignment yang Apa semua kan uh, Benda-benda yang kita suka ni yang akan Buatkan kita lagi happy lah Kiranya yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Betul. Jadi saya dengar jawapan dia Saya rasa saya tengah stress sebenarnya Nak cari jawapan tu <laughs> So untuk kita rehatkan uh, Tekap-tekap mereka Kita nak rehatkan fikiran mereka Untuk mereka jawab ke soalan seterusnya Kita berehat sebentar uh, Be back on Beauty Beats Only on IIUMFM Your campus radio Leaving you with jatuh bangun By Hakim Rusti Hello there everyone Welcome back on Beauty Beats Only on IIUMFM Your Campus Radio Baiklah tadi kita hmm. telah mengorak langkah Apa benda saya syakuat ya Allah Anyway kita <laughs> Mengorak langkah Nampak tak kita tengah barai sekarang ni okay, Sebab kita barai tu lah kita nak fresh up sikit suasana dengan bermain game Okay so this game ah. is named Enam Reasons Why or What Okay so basically it's a quiz where I give each and one of them a question And they are required to give us six reasons why or six things uh, regarding that question. So, are you guys ready? <laughs> as ready as we'll ever be. Yes. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, mereka setiap soalan ni dah decide lah siapa soalan berapa, siapa soalan berapa. So, kita yes. move on to the first question. Eh? First of all, six reasons why I love performing for theater. Okay. Um, oh, so, saya akan jawab soalan ni. Okay. And um, so six reasons kenapa suka perform to theater. So first thing first um this is my first time performing for theater. So um, agak mencabar tapi masa masa dululah time sekolah dulu kan oh. selalu perform lah um apa untuk hari guru ke apa semua tapi cuma dance lah. 
And now saya pun as a dancer for, for this theatre So kenapa suka sebab Memang minat Minat dance Kalau dekat bilik pun uh, Member-member tahulah Macam mana perangai <laughs> Kalau dekat bilik Lagi teruk daripada time training Astaghfirullahaladz Kalau time Fikir apa Fikir apa tu Jangan jauh sangat Kalau time training pun Dah macam tak cukup malu kan Tak apa Tak tahu malu Kalau dekat bilik Tak cerita lah Okay First because memang Minat Satu Then Second Reason Reason is Sebab saya rasa sebab experience lah oh. uh, To gain the experience Sebab yes mm. as, Macam saya cakap tadi This is my first time So memang banyak sangat uh, pengalaman baru Macam yang saya tak pernah ni lah Sebab ya yeah, first time kan okay. <laughs> Apa benda ni <laughs> Okay ketiga uh, Ketiga Hmm um, Mungkin saya macam mana nak cakap Nak overcome Semua orang ada nervous dia sendiri Semua orang akan Kalau nak perform or what Dia akan Apa? Stage freak Stage fright Oh fright Okay sorry sorry Terms dia stage fright Okay So semua orang ada benda tu So bila kita perform Then kita kita macam overcome Kita macam cuba untuk tangani masalah tu Tangani ketakutan tu sendiri Dengan kita pergi lagi Kita lawan dia ha, Macam tu lah So saya buat tu sebab tu lah Cik Cik, Cik. <laughs> Tadi yang keberapa? Tiga Yang ketiga Baru ketiga eh ha, Lagi tiga Yang keempat uh, Saya rasa <laughs> Saya Mungkin ada Bakat Mungkin Mungkin ada Mungkin ada. 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 Cuma ada. Ada. Ya, ada. Mungkin ada. ada Cuma nak Kira apa Gilap lagi lah Dan banyak oh. Banyak benda juga Saya belajar Kadang-kadang sebelum ni Dalam bilik kan Rasa dah cukup hebat lah tu menari Sebenarnya Tak cukup lagi Gilap Banyak lagi yang kena belajar And improve lah oh, Semua lah mm-hmm. Yang ke Lima, Lima. Lima. Dua lagi Dua ya? lagi eh ha. Kenapa <laughs> Kesian dia Memang kena enam ke? Okay lah, aku dah give up eh Okay, next question Six reasons why I think skincare is important for men Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Number one Number satu Kerana lelaki dan perempuan dua-dua ada kulit Oh, is it obvious logic, logic. answer? Obvious. So, uh, obviously, macam uh, why I been. think skincare is important for men. Uh, both gender ada kulit dia. Macam, uh, hmm? om, oh, macam mana aku cakap ni? Semua <laughs> tak. Kita manusia ada kulit. Ha, <laughs> masalahnya. So, tak mestinya kita nak kata, okay, perempuan yang kena jaga kulit, laki tak jaga kulit. Sebab hmm. laki tak mestinya dia lahir-lahir, dia terus elok. Tak. Benda tu pun kena jaga. Tak semua macam tu. Ha, dia tak semua. So, macam oh, nak kata... Perempuan dijaga lebih sebab ada kelembutan dari segi perempuan di situ. Tapi laki juga, kita nak macam nak juga tampil menarik kan. Then second, uh, I think like uh, jenis kulit lelaki dan perempuan itu berbeza. Ini salah satu tips lagi. Dia kata lelaki dengan perempuan tidak boleh pakai skincare yang sama. Disarankan agar tidak pakai. Sebab kulit perempuan dikatakan lebih lembut daripada kulit lelaki. Di bahagian-bahagian tertentu lah. <laughs> Kau ni yang fikir benda bukan? <laughs> uh, fikir apa <laughs> Selain lelaki lebih berbulu Asal Fanzim Tidak <laughs> Di bahagian kulit muka TMI TMI Go back Di bahagian go muka back. Dah 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 Mungkin lain Go back So dah Potentially lelaki dia akan ada lebih minyak Daripada perempuan yeah. uh, yes. So kita juga kena yes. jaga Swag glance Swag glance Sebab yes. kata Musakir Musafa Oh, Testron <laughs> Testosterone Apa kaitan testron dengan kulit? Tak eh Kita teruskan kan? so, Dah dua lah Sorry teruskan Ketiga um, Confidence Sebab yes. I think um, This is not only for cast lah Or, Bagi orang yang perform on stage This is challenge sebab uh, Theater adalah tempat di mana kita tunjukkan Kita beri ruang kepada orang untuk hina kita sebenarnya Untuk judge kita sebenarnya Naik pentas kita tak kita tak boleh expect untuk orang puji kita Ada orang suka kita, ada orang tak suka kita That's why kita on That's stage life. untuk kita evaluate diri kita Makin lama kita improve Then skin is one of important thing Sebab orang akan tengok uh, kulit tu adalah the first thing orang akan nampak juga So kalau on stage tu tiba-tiba kita nampak Makeup berlebihan ke apa semua bentuk obvious on stage Sebab tu kata penting untuk kita jaga kulit Then keempat Keempat dah ke? Okay dah keempat ni Uh, this is for technical staff Kita memudahkan uh, Makeup punya part 
Sebab bila kita ada kulit yang bermasalah Dia akan menyusahkan uh, bukan, Dia akan memberi sedikit masalah kepada team makeup Contoh dia Pada hari kejadian sebelum show Kita ada kulit yang sunburn So hmm. dia akan bagi masalah kepada um, Makeup crew untuk cari foundation yang sesuai Sebab foundation kita ada banyak jenis warna So kita akan apply tu untuk kita tutup Segala cela tu Dia akan jadi sukar bila kasus ini tak ada sunburn Benda Sebenarnya tu kita akan perlu Oh sorry kita perlu kena tutup cover lebih daripada apa yang tidak sepatutnya. Betul. Dan ke berapa? Lima. Lima. Alamak. Boleh <laughs> dengar alamak. 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 Enam reasons why I should warm up for rehearsals and staging. Yes, yes, I will try to answer these enam reasons why I should warm up before rehearsals and staging. Well, first reason is to avoid injuries. This one is uh, okay, like very straightforward answer, especially like you know for kalau any stages yang ada act, involving action scenes ataupun dancing, for example, you want to make sure your body doesn't get hurt by whatever you do. Kalau you overzealous sikit ke apa, tiba-tiba eh excited lebih. Oh, you sprain your arm, you sprain your leg and everything. Macam so, director kita ke? Yes, oh. macam director kita. Farah Adila Ismail. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for example, that, that her, like, she tends to that, you know, she, you know, when you get excited, you go overboard. So, macam, when you sprain kaki kapa, you know, that like, you get injured. So, macam, selalu bahaya. That's why it's important to warm up. Okay, and second of all, warm up before rehearsals and staging ni, uh, it's also important because uh, it, uh, how... How to say It keeps you in the mood tau Because when you warm up Tak kisah lah Vocal training Or even body lipinia tu Macam you actually uh, When you you know Do all these light exercises You pump your blood uh, Throughout your body Faster and everything You get all this rush of endorphins you, It's actually uh, Endorphins as you know is actually a really good uh, A feel good hormone That makes you Happy I mean for like A better way at the moment <laughs> But yes, so um, that's why when you, especially, you know, for dancers, mm. if you do light exercises before you actually dance, you notice that your body will, you, your mood especially, will feel a bit more up- uplifted. Along with the dance. Yes, especially, you know, for happy dancers. So, which, um, wow, I didn't think this long. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, why are two reasons? <laughs> the third reason why it's important to warm up before rehearsals and staging, uh, Okay, let's uh, let's touch on vocal lah for me. Um, okay, this one is uh, as an experience as a singer for another play. It actually avoids your voice from cracking. Ah, uh, like kalau katakanlah singer ke actually uh, cast as well. So um, you know when you have to like uh, you have to lontar your suara kan. Um, you, you can't really shout or scream. That's why you kaya sakit tekak sentuh. Kalau you warm up your vocal cords nicely I mean and thoroughly before the play ke apa ke so macam you you don't have to worry about your voice you tiba macam cakap macam bayangkan nak kata takdir macam tu uh, <laughs> nak kata takdir instead of saying it like really strongly and solidly as a, a strong character tiba-tiba keluar macam tu macam tak nice lah like that so wow this is actually really hard <laughs> number <laughs> reason number four why I, why we should warm up before uh, staging and rehearsals huh <laughs> unfortunately I think saya tewas di sini saja lah <laughs> Moving on to the fourth question, why I think a good diet contributes to great performance? And that's me. I have to answer it. Okay. Um, say bye. Cukup enam enam reasons kan? Okay. Jawapan dia panjang. <laughs> 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 tak ada lah panjang. Tapi we try to shorten it. Okay. First of all, uh, kalau dari scope dancers lah, since me and Hazma and both of us are dancers, so most importantly, sebab dia so we're using a lot of energy semasa training, and it will continue on sampai hari last staging day so it's important for me and husband and also actually for the cast and crews to um, eat tons of carbs and protein too lepas tu elakkan makan uh, something like buttery and stuff so that bila you training tu dia takkan kacau lah you punya keberadaan uh, dalam masa-masa training tu kan uh, oh my god vocab aku okay. secondly um, 
focusing on the cars who use a lot of voices and stuff. Uh, it's important for them to not eat the food that they'll that'll make their voice jadi horse, uh, horse and oh. jadi and which they cannot eat oily foods, spicy mm, foods, and ultimately they are gonna uh, restrain themselves from makan ice lah. Are you eating ice, guys? Mm-hmm. 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 Ice cream. Mm-hmm. Jaga again. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright. Third reason. Uh, third reason. Um, ini focusing sampai hari staging and um, considering nowadays kita berhadap cuaca yang rapidly change daripada pagi panas. Setiap mm-hmm. petang tu nak hujan mm-hmm. sampai malam kan. Mm-hmm. Uh, kalau me personally, memang I cepat affected lah by this kind of weather. I cepat mm-hmm. jadi sakit and stuff. So important for us to eat a lot of warm foods. Jangan makan benda yang macam ais ke apa kan. So macam I, I, I sangat sukalah with uh, comfort warm foods macam mm-hmm. soups ke apa kan. Mm-hmm. Uh, eat a lot of that stuff. <laughs> Okay, so fourth masa hari-hari staging nanti uh, kita dah lah ada tiga hari staging kan. So y'all kena kita semua lah kena jaga perut kita jangan skip meals, jangan get gastric. Ha, kalau perut kosong tu jangan start with makanan yang pedas and instant. So ha, jaga perut lah. And face <laughs> untuk <laughs> and face. This is actually my first time performing. Tahu before this I jadi crew je and especially for props lah. And for me sepanjang I jadi crew, paling penting hydration kena on point lah. Yeah, Sebab yeah, kita iya is the key. It's also for it applies also for all of the cast and dancers sekali kan because of what kita nak kena um be prepared and uh, get ready with the cues kan ha huh? mm-hmm. so kita takkan nak harapkan kepada SM saja kan so all of us kena peka lah with the scene so hydration pun kena ada lah so keep our, our otak untuk peka with our keliling kan mm-hmm. and lastly uh, wrap up and this is a wrap up for all my reasons <laughs> untuk dapatkan performance yang the bombs ha uh, itu lah yeah. yeah. cukup enam cukup cukup enam Well, at least she has a number of reasons why, so it's not impossible. <laughs> Moving on to She's the amazing. fifth question. Ah, uh, yani kita nak minta macam demonstrate sih. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Apa dia motif aku letak soalan ni? Okay, so a number of reasons or a number of types, okay, of vocal training. Yes, yes. Okay, yang ni I need some backup lah. Okay, boleh, okay. boleh, boleh, boleh. Okay, do backup, okay. backup, boleh. You lead. Boleh, boleh. Okay, so... um. <coughs> oh, and also when you do vocal training too, explain why. Uh, mm. Alamak. The reason behind it. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> um, you the can, you can. You. Don't worry. Thank you. Okay, so I rasa um, after we start, after we finish our warm-up, I think which you physical. will demo later. Physical, <laughs> physical, physical warm-up. Can, uh. nanti kan? Okay. Um, we would start with Simple breathing exercises, breathe mm-hmm. in, breathe out. Tapi mm-hmm. demo kok yang tu eh, we do it every second of the day. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and but one thing we do is we breathe in and then breathe in, breathe in, and then um, we would breathe out and exhale with a hiss. Macha. So, hmm. Sekali jom. Sekali jom. Satu, dua, tiga, breathe in, out. Oh, Sudah lah. Ida bersabang. Ida bersabang. I control volume ni okay. terasa macam dengar ASMR pula. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, lepas tu, dah lupa. Okay. Lepas tu, okay. I'm just going to go with the highlight lah. Because I rasa ramai yang macam sakit hati nak buat benda ni. Wow. It's this thing <laughs> we call ha. Oh. oh, Masya Allah. <laughs> Where we breathe in. But when, as we breathe out, we don't really breathe out. We basically just let this air from our stomach with... Bunyi ha. It's like you belt up. Kan? Yes. Mm. So we do it like ranging from one to five. So it's ha and then to ha 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 up to five. So mm. Ramayana would struggle with this because I think it needs practice. Kan? I mean yes. you can't do it one shot. So <laughs> yang tu kalau demo mesti pecah bangunan ni. So I rasa takut. <laughs> tak peka. I mean I can know the volume. Ah, alam. <laughs> okay. Sure. Sila. Sama-sama. 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 You can do sampai satu atau dua ha juga. Okay. Ha. Sama-sama ya? Eh? Yes. Okay. <coughs> satu kali ha dan breathe in. Okay. Satu kali ha. Ha. Oh. <laughs> I expect you telinga saya pecah tak pecah pun. <laughs> <laughs> Nak pecah ke? <laughs> Nak pecah ke? Okay. Um, and then uh, number three baru. Alamak. Number three. Uh, we have a few tongue mm. twisters. Yes. So, <laughs> Masya Allah. Uh, so yang tu is just to macam, you know, let our let loose lah our our tongue semua. Kan. So mm-hmm. we have a few phrases. The shortest would be red lorry, yellow lorry. And so as we go on, it would be faster. 
China too. Helps mm, with yeah, articulation. <laughs> okay, so we start with slow. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Is that slow? Okay. Yeah. Medium. Red lorry, yellow lorry. And fast. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Just one of these. Uh, kenapa ada vocal warm up macam ni? Mm. Reason why? Um, I think it kind of stretches our mouth as well. We mm. we open wide oh, and so our tongue pun. So much of it helps with the pronunciation of words and articulation. Mm. And articulation. So, lagi it, it, I think I would say I would say lagi penting for actors who have dialogues lah. Mm. Biar pun sikit ke banyak ke. I mean, betul, betul. you know, your pronunciation and articulation should be very clear. Mm. So that's mm-hmm. the point of that. Okay. I think that's number three. Mm-hmm. Number four. No good training. Could be kidding. Alamak. My Fantastic. guy is going to kill me. Um <laughs> Yeah, put a gear. Watching bro. Ha. Mm. Uh-huh. Oh. Alamak. Okay, I I I don't know what to call this. Humming. But we uh, it's humming lah kut. I don't know, it's but we basically humming. call it my <laughs> We basically go um every five seconds, we <laughs> use the um the consonant M with the vocal with the um apa A I O U vowels. Yes. So we go my yo okay and yeah. the reason why i have no idea breathing, breathing. It's, for breathing. It's, it's for breathing it's for breathing <laughs> yeah uh, so, so you have a very bad actor one one breath is it satu nafas yeah satu nafas je so uh, memang it trains our ni lah sebab uh, kalau orang yang macam short breath ke it's challenging lah kan so it's a practice juga and, and yeah the last one full face muscles yeah that And the last one is this thing we call big face and small face. Ooh, mm-hmm. okay. Is that physical? I don't yes, know. That is, yes, it's physical. physical. It's for facial muscles. And no, it helps your... Yeah, so it helps our vocal vocals. Cut. So much. Um, when I, when we say big face, so everyone should like stretch your face as big as you can with mm-hmm. big wide eyes and your mouth pun kena bosa. So it kind of macam longgarkan your muscles. face muscles lah. And small mm-hmm. face is the total opposite. So much. Um, we kind of imagine kalau big face muka harimau. Kalau small face, muka tikus. Tikus. <laughs> yeah. Like you scrunch so, it up. We try to, yeah, we try to like, I wouldn't say squeeze, but like, you know, it's total opposite of big face. Mm. So, much. Okay. Um, I think that's basically, that, that's six. Yeah. All that's right. Six. So, that's wow, six. Wow, amazing. Now, final question. Hmm. The hmm. Now reasons what and why the types of warm-up and why it's done. Types of warm-up, eh? <coughs> so, <coughs> yeah, say bagi tau yang basic yang selalu kita buat, Iaitu berlari Dan saya ingin minta maaf kepada oh, semua student kaat yang duduk kat situ Sebab kita orang berlari-lari tu sebab nak warm up ya Kita buat student kaat Yes Itu Itu Saya juga student kaat juga um, Untuk You know the Macam saya mah cakap tadi hmm? Dia apa hor, Apa Yang Regulate your hormones Ah yes tu untuk supaya rasa macam kita lebih alert and apa oxygen flow throughout the body so selain to stretching second stretching to avoid uh, cramps cramps ke sebab as a cast kita orang pun uh, as a dancers juga banyak takut uh, bab berlawan semua takut injet so selain tu apa lagi eh sebab <laughs> <laughs> ah, s- uh, as a pahlawan lah kita orang akan ada macam before full flow kita orang akan buat sparring dulu kat belakang mm. dekat tepi tu Fight. macam supaya tak like bila guna weapon tu betul-betul tertumbuk ke which macam pernah, pernah jadi pernah jadi <laughs> tertumbuk <laughs> betul uh, so that's why sparring itu very important plank 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 uh, and plank <laughs> uh, the longest one minute yeah <laughs> planking supaya to strengthen our core untuk ya yeah. Because to look strong in on stage as a pahlawan is very important lah. Okay, selain tu petik buah. Ini saya dari dulu tertanya apa, apa function oh. petik, buah petik buah tu eh. Stretch muscle. <laughs> Stretch muscle. Stretch muscle. Sebab oh. dia involve kita punya only bukan tangan je. Bila kita ambil tangan dia akan automatik bergerak ke bawah. Kita juga involve kita punya bahagian kaki. So that's why kita petik. Atas, tengah dan bawah Wait, So dia membantu new. Macam contoh ni kita dulu apa, Lompat bintang kan Lompat bintang mm-hmm. Dia secara sekaligus mm-hmm. Tapi ini dia more to stretching mm-hmm. Kita buka mm-hmm. muscle kita so, yeah. Muscle yeah. Interesting. But also nak highlight uh, Plank tu is not just To warm up ke apa It's also as a punishment I would like to believe <laughs> 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 It's basically the longest one minute Okay True. Okay next And to me uh, Saya dah cukup enam kan Kan yeah. Yeah. No No, no. no. Satu lagi Shadow kot Doing shadow 
shadow ni macam uh, practice when you, kadang-kadang kalau partner pun kalau tak datang macam maybe busy with assignment ke so we still have to practice so we just pretend like our uh, our opponent mm. uh, partner uh, partner, uh, partner, partner dekat sparring depan sparring partner ada dekat depan so just to keep us ready and to help the timing to to so basically bagi saya warm up ni sangat penting lah sebab dia increase our alert dengan kalau tak adalah macam muka baru sampai lemah je ah uh. It gives us the energy. Okay. energy. Right now, so that wraps up our enough reasons why or what quiz. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> kita pukul lah. Walau sebab Allah. korang ada, ada effort lah at least. So, <laughs> Three <laughs> reasons <laughs> you do. <laughs> 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 Aku payah rindu. And did you realise that we're already reaching the final minute of our show? Actually, kita dah terlebih masa. Tapi tidak mengapa. So, sebabkan kita ada terlebih masa ni lah. Uh, we would like to wrap things up. So, the floor or basically the jock is for you to promote the upcoming theater and giving you two minutes. Yes. Um, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, bertindak sebagai salah satu director dalam Theater 6 ni, yes. saya mencadangkan agar para hadirin di UAE ataupun luar UAE untuk datang dan support Theater 6 sebab 6 is a really different theater sebenarnya. It's a first try untuk Notary Playhouse sebab Uh, is involved fantasy Usually Notorious Playhouse ni Kita orang dikenali sebagai Satu production yang Lawa uh, Musical and all that Tapi kali ni kita combine segala benda Bukan nak kata uh, Enam Palawan ni Dia Dia is only serious theater tak Dia ada serious theater Kita ada bermain dengan pelbagai emosi Korang kena datang tengok Sebab theater enam ni Kita cuba putri Banyak sangat nilai muni Contoh dia kita ada persahabatan Dendam Kena kata kalau kita dapat Kalau kita nak Langsaikan dendam kita Adakah itu berbaloi ataupun tidak Itu Indigen. menunjukkan Then something happen Bila dalam hidup ni Kita tak boleh expect Semua benda itu indah So dalam titik ni Kita tunjuk Ada side baik Ada side buruk dia baik. Kemudian kita tunjuk juga Macam mana uh, dia macam teater ni Kita cuba elakkan nilai-nilai agama Bukan kita nak kata Kita kurafat ke Tak bukan nak Mazulah bin Zalik <laughs> Kita Syawak. nak tolakkan nilai agama Sebab dalam teater ni Kita tak ada main Bangsa Melayu ke Ataupun yeah. agama Islam Atau apa-apa ha, Itu benda penting Itu orang datang Orang kena open minded Sebab kita kata Bila Masih Malaysia ada syarikat. power ni Orang kata Oh benda ni yeah. Syirik lah Apa semua benda Tak Dalam teater kita bebas Cuma okay. kita still Dalam UIA ni Kita menjagalah ha. Great yeah. put Okay So that is from the director Sekarang daripada Wakil daripada Kasila Promote Anda punya teater. Saya bagi anda masa dalam satu minit. Okay, korang mesti tanya-tanya kan, macam mana super power tu boleh di perform atas teater? Like, how seorang yang mampu mengawal cuaca, seorang yang mampu stop masa, dan seorang yang mempunyai kekuatan sepuluh orang pahlawan, mampu mengawal emosi, mampu mempredik masa depan, semua tu dalam teater. In a teater. Live. Untuk korang. So, kalau korang nak tahu macam mana, Datang Ahad Isnin Selasa Malam Okay Baiklah, Dekat okay. Main Audi Haa Di Main Audi Harga tiket berapa? Harga tiket RM10 Sahaja Yes Okay so untuk dancer Oh Untuk dancer Apakah anda punya Promo Sila Alright Um untuk semua kita punya dance ni bukan calang-calang bukan biasa-biasa hmm. bukan traditional style of dance tapi kalau anda mahu tahu datanglah kepada teater 6 yang akan ada pada 789 hari bulan April dan uh, nak sneak peek sedikit uh, maybe like pop pop ke dan bukan satu saja kita ada lebih daripada satu type of dance oh, jadi wow. datanglah kepada teater kami Yes. Yes. Okay, that's very good. Okay, so thank you guys so much for coming. Hey. Thanks for having thank us. Thank you for having us. Thank you for coming tonight. Jadi jangan lupa untuk saksikan pementasan Tiada Enam oleh Notorious Playhouse Production di Main Audi pada 7.8 dan 9 hari bulan April 2019. Harga tiket adalah pada harga RM10 sahaja. Yes. Baiklah. Jadi see you guys next time only on Beauty Beats, only on IIUMFM, your campus radio.